Buddy Rod 212 here with my latest comic book haul video. Uh, this haul is going to consist of uh, books I've picked up within the last week and a half or so. Uh, books from my LCS. A uh, couple of books I purchased on Instagram. One book I picked up on the CGC message boards. And a little something else I want to show you guys. Uh, I'll start off with uh, the books I picked up on my LCS. This is Uncanny Avengers number 8. This is the Civil War 2 uh, variant. Kind of liking these. You know, I like the old feel, like the old Civil War covers. Also picked up the Old Man Logan, which I really liked a lot. Civil War variant. Uh, and I was able to get a copy of Spider-Man number three. Um, another book that I picked up, read, hated the artwork on the interior. But the cover is a J. Scott Campbell cover. I really like that. And, you know, I'll give this story a shot. Just uh, ugly interior art in my opinion. And it, once again, just my imperial, my opinion. But uh, Spider-Woman Alpha. Um, this is the J. Scott Campbell connecting variant cover, a uh, picture of Silk on it. Also was able to get Black Panther number one, which I uh, thoroughly enjoyed. I thought that was a really good read. So if you get the chance, uh, take a look at that book. And this is a variant cover for that. Also was able to get, uh, for my Uncanny X-Men run, the Uncanny X-Men number six. This is the Wills Portacio variant. Uh, really, really nice cover. Also got the uh, Ken Lashley variant cover for that. I've been picking these up as I go along. Really like that. And I also picked up the uh, Story Thus Far variant. Which uh, I believe is an homage to uh, New Mutants 87. Um, Paul Dameron number one came out. And I picked up a couple of their variants. Those variants there. I, I picked up this one. I think this is the one in 15 maybe. Um, this is the movie shot variant, and the one I was really, really happy to get was the one in 50. Uh, really, really nice book to get that for cover price. Uh, super happy. Once again, you know, my shop does the right thing. Comic Book Jones, if you haven't heard me mention them before, if you ever need area, take a look at these guys. They just do the right thing by you all the time. Um, I've talked about these before, and I really enjoy them. I picked these up. And that's the uh, Women of Power variants. I think Marvel's doing a phenomenal job with these. And I uh, have a nice Misty Night one here. And the one I, I think this might be the best one out of all the ones I've seen so far. Was the Daredevil uh, Women of Power Electric cover. And it, it's just a really, really, really nice cover. Uh, another cover that I really liked. I uh, got this through Midtown. Was the Neil Adams JLA um, cover. Uh, this is great, great uh, rendition of a classic Neil Adams cover. I, I'm forgetting the number of the Batman comic, but just a great, great cover. Uh, I, I like this one a lot. Um, went online and uh, got a couple of books through Bulletproof Comics. They had some Gabriel Delato variants. So I was able to pick up this one here, which is the Black Panther one. Really like that. Really nice book. Also, uh, couldn't resist getting these. And that's Superman number 50 and Batman number 50. And they're connecting covers, so you get the gist of it. Very nice covers uh, by Del Otto, as usual. And the last variant I picked up was this. It's another Neil Adams uh, cover swipe. Another book that I really liked, really drawn well, and this is from the Dark Side War. Dark Side Wars, um, great storyline. If you guys haven't read this uh, uh, book, I highly suggest to read. If you're uh, looking to pick up on a DC title, pick up the Justice League run on this Dark Side Wars. It's been really good. All right, uh, stopped in my LCS the other day to pick up some bags and boards. Walking around, taking a look, and they had this cat number one. Uh, as everybody knows, that's uh, Greer Nelson, who later becomes Tigra. Uh, I got this for 9 bucks, so I was really happy with that. And extremely happy to pick this up. Tomb of Dracula, number one. It's probably like a fine, fine plus copy there. Um, but it's Neil Adams' artwork there. So any chance you can get the chance to grab a really nice one. And, and these uh, Tomb of Dracula books have been going up. Actually, the horror books, people are really starting to pick up on them again. So, 
Nice pickup. Uh, happy to get that added to my collection. On the CG CGC boards, I was able to get this. It's a pretty high grade copy of Forever People number one, which, as we know, is the first full appearance of Darkseid. Um, a little bit of tanning on the edges, but all in all, a really nice presenting book. I I, I probably give it about uh, an eight at the most, but I'll take it right now. This book is uh, just rising in popularity and. More and more people are looking for this one in the Jimmy Olsen book. So if you have the opportunity to get these for a good price, which I did, uh, I would jump on it. And now, uh, I just want to show you this. The next three books, the last three books, I picked up off of Instagram. Anybody who's not on Instagram, uh, I suggest you guys get on there now. There's a really good comic book community there. There's some really good guys there that are selling books and honest vendors. You know, you'll get recommendations from other guys. And this is a guy that I recommend. I've purchased from him twice already. And it's uh, Karate School Comics, I believe it is, on Instagram. But this is a very nice, high-grade copy of Iron Fist number 14. First appearance of Sabretooth. Um, just show you guys this. It's really, really presents nice. Book, uh, no ticks on it. One, two ticks on it, actually. I, I apologize, but nice corners. Uh, interiors of white pages which is a key uh, just a really nice book and then the next guy I bought off of was uh, Captain America USA I believe it is and uh, I had seen some other people had purchased from him and recommended him and he gave me a super deal on two books so the first one being ah, sorry about that I'll show you this first Amazing Spider-Man number 200 I have this and this was basically a throw in uh, sweeten the pot on the deal and he also gave me a couple of extra books there which I really appreciate but um this is an upgrade on my book so I was really happy to have this but the deal breaker was this and that's Amazing Spider-Man number 122 and that's the death of the Green Goblin which just so happens to be on my top 10 want list so I have knocked out three on my top ten now. Very, very happy to pick up these books. Again, guys, uh, need to get on Instagram if you're not on there. There's some really good guys on there. Plus, a ton of YouTubers are on there. Gamma Comics is on there. There's just a lot of guys on there. TiVo's on there. Uh, Big East Comics is on there. There's a lot of guys on there. And it's a lot easier to just post pictures of your books that you pick up as you get them. You know, as uh, opposed to doing videos all the time, which... Sometimes, you know, it depends on how much time you have. Picture takes five minutes and quick posting and it, it's up. But, you know, just another alternative for all those comic, uh, comic book lovers out there. And then uh, my last thing I want to show you. I was really, like I said, picked up some really nice key issues there. And received the package back from CGC. Um, for those of you who watch my videos, you'll know that I purchased my Grail book sometime last year. Um, I paid in the range of a 2 to 2.5 for it in between those two. Um, book like looked like if I pressed it out, which I did have it pressed out, I would probably get a 3.0 on it. Unfortunately, uh, CGC is being a little strict with their grades as we've all been hearing. But very happy to get this back. Came back with 2.5 and that's my copy of X-Men number 1. So the cover presents... Beautifully, I mean that that's what, what I picked it up for was the eye appeal There's a little piece missing on the back and there's some corner damage to the front of this book As you guys can see and some spine issues, but Colors present really well and as a whole the cover just presents wonderfully and that's what I was looking for until You know, I have the opportunity to upgrade this book. This book will always be in my collection um but until then, you know, until I get another one, I, I'll treasure this book. You know, th th this is my favorite team, my favorite comic of all time. And to have this in my possession and actually pick up a couple of copies of 94 and a giant size like Shear were big milestones for me. Uh, only need four issues from the range of 1 through 10. Uh, so uh, I'm hoping to knock those out in at least 6.0 to 7.0 ranges this year. And uh, that's it for my haul. Um, if you hit, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. 
If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I really want to thank all my new subscribers out there. Um, I'm up to 194, you know, almost on 200. I uh, never thought I'd have 200 subscribers within a little bit over a year. I think I'm like a month over a year now. Um, a lot of people watching my channel that I, I never thought would watch. But thank you to all the subscribers. Thanks to all my fellow YouTubers out there. There's a lot of great channels out there. You know, take a look at people that I follow and you can get, you know, your own feel on who's really good out there, who puts out content that you might enjoy. But uh, again, enough of my rant. Um, until my next video, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.